All right, this is Christian. Uh, another portfolio review. This time Derek uh, reached out to me on LinkedIn and he asked me to review his portfolio. He asked me to give him some uh, feedback. Um, so let's get into it. The first thing that I want to say is that I really like the, his website. I think it looks really cool. I don't know if he designed it or if it's a team or whatever, but I think um, the whole team looks really, really, really pretty. Um, although I would change a few things. So the first thing that I'm looking at is the contact section and the services section. The only thing I would change here would be maybe this uh, square, if you could make it another color. Um, it's more of a design thing and then maybe s make this shorter, right? Because uh, right now it looks a bit disproportionate. Um, then I would say that this por portfolio is made with React. So I'm checking my notes here. This portfolio is made with React, which I think it's a bit overkill for a simple uh, portfolio website for a, for a static website. So I would go just with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, maybe even throw in some jQuery, uh, just because React is overkill and it's not needed for this kind of project, right? So we need to always use the right tool at the right time. And uh, when you're a beginner and you know that React is needed in um, to, to get into tech, right? As a front-end developer, you might want to use React for everything, but don't do that, okay? You need to use the right tool at the right time. And when you have a hammer, everything uh, looks like a nail, okay? And then if we go to the projects section, right? I would like him and you to use maybe maximum of three projects, right? So the calculator, the weather, the quiz app, these things should not be in there. You know, these are just practice projects. These are, these are just toys that you are building for yourself to learn how to uh, write JavaScript code, how to manipulate the DOM, etc., etc. And this should not appear in your portfolio because everyone did these projects, okay? Maybe three, four, five years ago, these projects would be cool, but right now uh, they don't... Um, they don't have such a strong impact anymore, okay? Because everyone saw them and people might think that you just copy the code and your app is not uh, made by you, you know? There might be that risk, okay? Then uh, I would like to say that uh, you should make your projects open in a new tab, right? So if I click visit site, I'm gonna go straight to the um, application, which the problem with this is that people might want to come back to your page and they might not realize that they can go back, okay? So there is some friction in there, they might lose your website and then you might lose a potential, you might lose a potential um, job offer, okay, from a recruiter. So that's that thing. If I go back, I would like to also suggest maybe make the title as well clickable and the image as well. I think that would be a, a, a cool addition, okay? Um, now, from all your apps that I have looked at, I think uh, the movie search app is the most uh, compelling one. And uh, let's roast that, okay? Okay. There are definitely more things that you can add to this, right? Um, maybe you can add more movies, okay? I remember there were in the MovieDB API, there are upcoming movies and then uh, there are movies that are right now in the cinema. So you you might want to add a bigger list of movies because right now it's, it's very much bare bones, okay? So you need to find a way to milk that API. I think there are 20 or 30 end endpoints that you can use to make an application with. So, try to add more endpoints and uh, make use of more endpoints in this uh, application, okay? The next thing that I wanna show you is that if I go to this movie, right? And then if I refresh, I'm gonna be pushed back to, to the main um, 
to the main page, which is wrong. Whenever you are using another application or let's say you are using YouTube and you're clicking on a video, you go to the video page and then if you refresh, you are staying on that page, right? So that's the expected behavior that the user expects, okay? So you need to conform to that. And if you are not doing that, there are two things that I'm thinking of. One is that you don't understand how to use the React router, okay? You don't understand that you can have uh, uh, parameters and stuff like that in your uh, routes. And then you don't understand, you don't have common sense, okay? And this might sound harsh, like, oh, you don't have common sense, but that's what I'm expecting as the user. And if a recruiter sees that or a developer sees that, they will think that you don't know exactly those two things. You don't know how the router works. And then the second thing that you don't know is you don't have common sense, okay? So this is super important. The next thing that I can see over here <clears throat> is that this image here looks clickable. If I click on it, nothing happens. Um, I'm expecting to go to a page where I can see more details about this actor, okay? And the same thing with this thing here. I click on it, nothing happens. So I'm expecting to go there, but you are not letting me go there. And again, that tells me that you did not put that much effort into this application. And I see this a lot with a bunch of beginners. They are working on an app for two, three days and then they jump off and they do something else and they say that no one hires juniors. But if you would work on this app for a bit longer, you might have a better chance at getting your first web dev job, okay? Um, so on search, yeah, let's do the search. So if I search for Fight Club, <clears throat> so I'm searching for Fight Club and if I refresh, I'm going back to the home screen. Well, what you should do, you should have Again, a specific route, uh, a specific uh, route, fight, fight route, fight, fight club. You should, have, you should have a specific route for searching, okay? And then whenever I refresh that route, I will still have those search results. So again, this is more about understanding how the router works. And I think you should dive deeper into that because you'll be using the router quite a lot and you need to understand how to use uh, the, the parameters from your routes. You need to understand how component update works and, co and component mount. These are some important uh, concepts that you should be mastering when using a library such as React, okay? Now, let's go and look at another... Um, Let's look at the live chat app. So with this one, I would say this live chat app, I think is pretty much useless and I'm gonna tell you why. If it loads, right. So the reason why I'm saying it's uh, useless is because people need to create an account for it. Oh, but why is that bad? Well, because you have two, three seconds to sell yourself, to give your elevator pitch. And if a recruiter or a developer needs to create an account, they might be thinking, oh, it takes too much time to do that. And then where is my email and password stored? Okay, so there are some security issues in there. And you want to avoid that, you want to avoid that friction between you and getting your first job, okay? So this is my opinion on this chat app. And then you have another one here called the city tour, uh, which, yeah, so this is the city tour app and it doesn't do much. And if I click this, I'm getting some text. This is not groundbreaking. This is not gonna make an impact. This is not something that I'm, this is, I'm not gonna go the extra mile to hire you, 
okay seeing this stuff this is very beginner kind of work but i can see that you have great potential you know i can see that you have ideas i can see that you are passionate about it but you still have a lot to work on to get to the next level at least in my opinion i have seen people that get hired with worse projects than yours but i do prefer to see someone that has that experience and that has that um, abundance of skills that they can use to create applications and right now i don't see this maybe in another six months uh, if you are trying to implement these things that i've been talking about you'll be able to get there and you'll be able to be in a position where you can comfortably uh, get a junior dev job all right so this is my feedback for derek um, if you have any questions, uh, if you see this on LinkedIn, see, send me a message. If you want me to review your portfolio, send me a message. And if you want to work with me directly, there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, click on it and apply for a free consultation call with me. When I'm going to look at your situation and see if I can help you actually achieve your goals and uh, become a web developer job, uh, become a web developer uh, as fast as possible. All right. Cheers.